guess what? We are back yet again filming another video and guess what today's video is about? Da 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 da! Ulta haul! Cause you all know that the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty has been going on and I have been by twice. I'm ordering a couple things online and I will just post pictures in the video as to what I'm ordering so yeah. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all the products that I've got when I've been at Ulta, not just the 21 Days of Beauty things I've bought because y'all know you go in that store, you're going to buy other things too. So I've got it all laying out here in front of me and don't forget if you like these types of videos, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and don't forget to push that little notification bell so that way you will get notified whenever... I upload more videos and yeah let's just get right on into the haul alrighty so first up guys I'm just gonna kind of go through and kind of show you what I got on the 21 days of beauty first and then I'll just kind of show you what else I picked up when I was in stores if that works out for you guys so first up the first day was the the lights camera lashes tart mascara I picked that up um, I really do like this mascara. It's a kind of like a 4-in-1 mascara. It volumizes and it lengthens. This is what the wand looks like. It's really nice. And then I got the microderm <laughs> micro delivery of fish exfoliating facial wash. It was on sale, I believe, for $8.00. And this was the eight ounces. Don't quote me on that, guys, please. But this stuff smells so good. It smells like it has limes. And it just sounds smells so refreshing. And then I just went over there and I got the it cosmetics confidence in a compact i got the shade light it's basically a foundation in a compact form it's really nice i've never even tried this brand so we're just gonna have to see i'm just gonna have to maybe review it for you guys a little later I'm just giving you a swatch here of the shade. It looks like it's going to be a really good match for my skin. So I'm excited about this. And then also the brush was on sale. The IT Cosmetics Foundation Brush. So I just picked these two up yesterday. And then also during the 21 Days of Beauty, there are hot buys going on during the entire... 21 days there will be items that are on sale as well and I picked up the pore professional mattifying gel I love this stuff tried it before got in uh, a bag and it is just super mattifying it's a gel so the texture is kind of gel like but as soon as it absorbs into the skin it just really blurs any like fine lines and wrinkles and it also smells really good oops oh well pick that up later and then so that was all my um oh also i'm picking up the becca first light priming pro filter primer the purple one i will insert the picture over here <laughs> um it is on sale today so i'm actually ordering that um, so that is all the 21 Days of Beauty products I picked up that was on sale. Now let's move into what else I picked up. So first things first, I have been really wanting this since the day, since the day I've seen it released. And I finally caved and bought it because I've seen all the other YouTubers on YouTube have it. And I'm like, I gotta have that too. And it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. Guys, this packaging is just stunning. Like, 
Look at that. Isn't that... Look at this. Isn't that just... Oh, it's just absolutely stunning. So, moving on to the next thing, I picked up the Makeup Revolution Baking Powder in the shade Lace. I've been hearing really good reviews about this product online and this is a very affordable brand and I highly recommend picking this up. I have yet to try it so I can't give an honest review about it but I've heard um, Casey Holmes talk about it, Tati did a review I believe and it is just really good stuff. I'm excited about it. And then next up, I've been wanting to get this product ever since I've seen it released, and that is the Smashbox Scent um, Photo Finish Primer Water in the Scent Serene Greens. Uh, this stuff, guys, it just smells so good. I'm just going to go ahead and spray a little bit here. It smells like you just put cucumbers all over your face with like a hint of lemongrass. Like look at that. See that spray? It's just so fine and perfect. Mm. I'm excited about this. Alrighty, next up I picked up these two e.l.f. Um, it's a eye primer transformer. And basically what these do is you can either, it's a they're a liquid, so what you can do is either put these on your eye first before you go applying your shadow, and it will kind of transform any shadow into more of like a shimmer. So like if you're applying a matte over this, it will kind of transform it into a shimmer. I'm just going to swatch both of these colors. I'm excited to use these. I'm, I'm thinking. Then I'm just going to maybe try just using this as a shadow alone because, guys, these swatched and they are just so beautiful. It's like the those other two, like the third and fourth swatch that are on my hand. That was pretty. And these were only four bucks a piece. Elf is such an affordable brand and their products are just, they're just spot on. So that's what they look like again. I am really excited to try these out as well. And then next up, uh, I picked up a few things that I was running low on, and that is the Maybelline Total Temptations Brow Definer in 315 Deep Brown. I love this stuff. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm about out of this. I only have that much left of mine, but it is the tip is just very fine. It's a little thicker than some normal brow pencils, and that's kind of why I like it, but it is, it does have like a, a shape to it. It's not just a round pencil. It's kind of got a point, and I really like it because then you're able to really get in there and define the shape of your brow. So I picked up one of those just because I'm about out, and then this Curlitude liner I picked up because this... It is such a matte black, but sometimes when I'm doing my eyes, it's like it skips, and I know it's just because it's starting to dry out. It is a very deep black. It does not smudge. It stays in place, and since it's curled like this, um, whenever you're applying it to your eyes, it's just a really easy application because it is a curved pencil instead of just straight. And I really like that about this. So I picked up one of those just because I'm about out. You'll see that in an empties video I'm about to do maybe next week. And then I um, picked up the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette because everybody has this and I've yet to get my hands on it and guys I'm thinking about doing a video on first impressions of this but look at those shades would you is that not just beautiful shade range I'm really eyeing the color pool party it's this furthest one over here and then Jada right beside it 
I'm really loving aquas and blues right now. So I'm really excited about this palette. And the thing about Morphe palettes, they're so affordable. This whole palette of 35 shades was $38. So basically, you're paying like a little bit less than a dollar per shade, which is not too shabby, in my opinion. Alrighty, moving on. Next up, I got this Pro HD Baked highlighting palette from Makeup Revolution and as I was saying about the baking powder that I got from Makeup Revolution this brand I'm impressed by like I've tried some of their eyeshadows before and they are really good like the I can't remember what it's called but this highlighter palette I was like mm, I've got to try that if I can open it here Alrighty, so I'm just going to swatch a few shades, shades, just because I'm kind of curious about these swatches. Oh my gosh, these, these highlighters. I really feel like BH Cosmetics and Makeup Revolution are two really affordable brands that are just hardly even talked about on YouTube. And I don't know why. Like... I don't know. I really want my channel to be affordable products and high-end products. That way people can go out and actually buy these products that I'm filming in my videos. So I'm going to show you the, some of these swatches. So it is those last swatches there on my arm. Isn't that just beautiful? I mean... You can't get much, but I'm just going to go ahead and apply some on my face because I'm just so excited. I'm just, I'm going to apply this shade here called Sweet. This very in shade. Get my mirror out here. I can't see. Oh my goodness. You see that highlight, guys? Like... Is that not just beautiful? Wow. I'm... I'm impressed, people. I'm impressed. Alrighty. Moving on. <laughs> so, they had a thing going, if you spent $15 with the Makeup Revolution, you got a free thing. And this is a free thing. It comes with... A highlighter in the middle and then six um, eyeshadow shades which are all around it and this highlighter I done swatched it and it is just beautiful as well these products are so creamy I can't get over it I also had been wanting to pick up some of the Urban Decay um, heavy metal glitter liners because I picked up this one glitter liner and it's from Too Faced it's the peel off kind y'all that glitter liner, actually it's right here, this is it, it's called Glitter Pop by Too Faced, this stuff is nice, but after you've had it on for like four or five hours, it just begins to literally peel off your eyes, it's called a peel off liner for a reason, so I'm like, I need a different glitter liner that will actually stay on my eyes, so I've been doing my research, trying to figure out which ones to get, and when I was in the store, they, um, some ladies working there, she actually had the pink on her eyes and she told me that she highly recommends the Urban Decay glitter liners because they don't flake off, they stay all day, they stay in put, they dry down fast and that's all that I was looking for. So I'm just swatching these real quick, that way you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Aren't those just really pretty? Those are the last, the last ones on my arm there. I think they're really pretty. So, and then I, the last thing I got is this Mario Badescu. These are all the facial sprays and they're all, they're kind of like a calming facial spray. 
Um, so you, this is the smaller bottles. I wanted to get this set because it was only $21. Whereas if you got bought them all individually, it ended up being like almost $30. So this one was the one I'm most excited about. It's aloe and cucumber. And then there's this one that is, they're all infused with aloe. And this one is herbs and rose water. And then this one is chamomile and lavender. And also the, the mist on these is also very nice. It's just so calming. Like if I sprayed this on my face like throughout the day. Because you can either spray it like throughout the day to refresh your face. Or you can spray this after you apply your makeup kind of as a setting spray. I can see this just being so calming throughout the day. Like I'm even half tempted to like pack one of these in my purse. But yeah. That <laughs> is. Oh nope. Missed one thing. I picked up this Morphe this Morphe blender. I can get into it here. I was super intrigued when I seen this. It is um, angled and tapered on both sides so that way you can like really get in there and like chisel out that cheekbone area to get a really good contour which I need to work on my contouring. <laughs> But yeah, I was super intrigued, so I really wanted to try this. Also, Morphe is another affordable brand. I think that blending is fun. I think this was only like eight bucks. But um, that's gonna do it for my haul, guys. Can you please comment like what you guys have picked up in the Alta Twenty One Days of Beauty? I would love to know, just because I'm excited to see what you all like. Um, let me know if you picked up any of these items, what you like, don't like. Um, give this video a big thumbs up if you like Ulta hauls. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because y'all want to know when I post more videos, right? So that's going to do it, guys. And don't forget that you're absolutely stunning. Bye. Thank you for watching.